14,000 miles away, across the Atlantic Ocean, we learned about a community of girls who drop out of school because they do not have materials to care for themselves during their menstrual cycle. The girls live in a refugee camp in Malawi. At this camp, the girls face economic hardship, lack sanitary ways to dispose of waste, and have a water shortage, all of which significantly impacts their access to pragmatic materials they can use during menstruation. When we first learned about this problem, we couldn't believe that in 2021, this problem hadn't already been solved. We decided to solve it ourselves. We wanted to come up with a solution to keeping girls in school by designing a product that would provide protection for menstruating girls who live in low water resourced, economically disadvantaged communities. After several brainstorming sessions, our Girls in STEM Club decided to create a hybrid pad that was part reusable and part disposable. To begin our design process, we tested out reusable pads already on the market, and in the process, considered how they could be redesigned to also be partly disposable. We kept track of our experiences using a shared Google Doc. We tracked how many pads were used each day and how much water was used for cleaning. We had an idea to create a design that utilized toilet paper as a disposable component. After testing the product with our members of our Girls in STEM Club, we decided that the hybrid pad was ready to be tested by girls living at Salika. It turns out they have their own girls group at the camp, and we decided to partner with this group in the development of this product. We mailed the pads to the girls in the camp, and then met them on Zoom to learn about their experiences. From our research partners, we learned the hybrid pad design was a game changer. It provided secure protection, and due to the partly disposable component, it required less water for cleaning while reducing the disposable waste at the camp. Now that we have a product that adds value to keeping girls in school, we want to package this product into a larger initiative. The larger initiative would give the materials, tools, sewing, and business training to displaced women to produce the hybrid pad as a source of income. The product then becomes more than a means to helping girls stay in school. It becomes a route for women to learn a skill and earn a living. We are looking for funding to support a thorough investigation into what it would take to teach women how to make and sell the hybrid sanitary pad. Help us lift up humanity by empowering women. Would you help me? I wanna go to school. Sim na rua